Here's the Blakemore tube in less than five. Buckle up. There's three ports, one for blowing up the stomach balloon, one for the esophagus balloon, and one for suctioning the stomach. There are suction holes for the stomach, no suction holes for the esophagus, and two balloons, one for the stomach and one for the esophagus. You also need an OG tube, a 50cc syringe, Kelly clamps with tape on the edges, two three-way stopcocks, four dual lure lock caps, lubricating jelly, a manometer, and I recommend the Posey cuff later because it fits onto the three-way stopcock and it insufflates and your respiratory therapist has one, just call RT. A Christmas tree, a Sharpie pen, a traction device, and we're gonna use Curlix and a liter bag of saline and a bucket of water. Insert one three-way stopcock in the gastric balloon port, and then you're gonna take a second three-way stopcock and insert it in the esophageal balloon port, and these should fit pretty snugly. Now take your OG tube and line it up so the tip is just above the gastric balloon, and at the 50 centimeter mark on the Blakemore tube, you're going to label the OG with a G. Now line it up so the tip of the OG tube is just above the esophagus balloon and do the same thing. At the 50 centimeter mark on the Blakemore tube, you're going to label this with an E on your OG tube and this will make sense in a minute, I promise. Now we're going to test to make sure our balloons don't leak. So take your 50 cc syringe, connect it to the esophagus balloon port, and we're gonna dunk it in some water, inject some air, and make sure we don't see any bubbles coming up. Once that looks good, we're going to deflate it and we're gonna test the gastric balloon. We're gonna use the same sophisticated technology for testing the gastric balloon, so stay with me on this one and I think you'll get it. Dunk it in some water, inject some air, and check for air bubbles. All right, moving on. Deflate that balloon all the way and now we're gonna get ready to insert this thing. Get some water-based lubrication and lubricate the tube and balloons and insert it just like an OG tube. Technically you can go through the nose, but I think the mouth is easier. Insert it all the way. And now we wanna to test to make sure that it is in the stomach, not the esophagus. So inject 50 cc's of air and get an X-ray. Make sure the air bubble is below the diaphragm and now it's safe to continue. The Blakemore tube holds 250 cc's of air. 250 cc's, that's four more pushes from your 50 cc syringe. Now turn it off and you can place two caps on your stopcock. And now we're gonna set up traction. So we are going to use our liter bag of saline and our Curlix. You're just gonna tie a basic run of the mill slip knot around your Blakemore tube on this end. And with the free ends, you're going to grab your liter bag of saline and just push those free ends through the hole on the top of the bag. And you can just tie a regular run of the mill knot here as well. Now you can hang this up over an IV pole, and this pulls one kilogram of traction, no football helmet required. Now we're gonna connect suction to the gastric port and suction out all of the contents of the stomach. And now you're going to insert the OG tube so that the G that we marked on the OG tube lines up with the 50 centimeter mark on the Blakemore. Now we know the tip of the OG is just above the stomach balloon. Now clamp the gastric suction port and move the suction tube from the gastric aspiration to the OG tube. We're gonna check to see if we have residual bleeding in the esophagus. If there's still lots of blood, that means we need to inflate the esophagus balloon. So pull the OG back till the E lines up with the 50, and now the tip of the OG tube is just above where the esophageal balloon will be. Grab your cuff later manometer, and we are going to connect this to the three-way stopcock on the esophageal balloon port. Place another cap on the three-way stopcock and grab your manometer. Remember, inflating the esophagus balloon is all about pressure, not volume. So connect the manometer here, and when you squeeze the bottom of the cufflator, it inflates air into the esophagus. The goal is 30 millimeters of mercury. You can go up to 45 if you're not getting adequate tamponade. Once you're at 30, close the stopcock so it's turned to off remove the manometer, and you can place a cap on this remaining open port. And that's the Blakemore in under five.